What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy, Asmin Gold, and today we're going to look at how to get prepared for Legion. Now, the expansion might not even be out until September, which is why I'm making a video today. So, if there's anything in this list that you want to take advantage of, you're going to have more than enough time to do it. Now, the first thing is pretty obvious. Make sure that you get all of your characters that you think that you might want to play in Legion up to 100. So, whenever that Legion pre-patch comes out and Blizzard nerfs your class, you know they will. Rerolling to something else won't really be as big of a pain in the ass. Now, number two ties into number one a lot, which is you want to make sure that you have as much gold as possible. I'm thinking guys shoot for 1 million gold 1 million i'm going for three i might even go for five if i'm feeling ambitious so whenever i'm in the broken aisles i'm killing bears i'm not needing to sell their meat on the auction house like a peasant because i ran out of money like i'm just thinking about buying boes buying the bullshit gold sinks buying the perps getting it all done okay the last thing you want to be thinking about at the beginning of an expansion is where you're going to be able to pay for your repairs and so there are tons of different ways that you can make gold right now in wars of draenor one of the best ways is doing your garrison missions on all your different characters for gold with treasure finder uh i guess like followers with that trait and so that's what i actually just finished doing today i got my 11th character to 100 and i would recommend for you guys to do that that's bringing me in two to six thousand gold every single day and so there are tons of other ways as well and i've got a big big video on like all the different things that you can do and so i'll give you guys a link to that uh in this video here that you guys can check that out but make sure that you try and get as much gold as possible so you don't have to think about whenever the new expansion comes out now number three knowing is half the battle so that means that you know you want to make sure that you know as much about the expansion as much about legion you know keep up on the news keep up on your class keep up on what might help you for farming and for professions and everything like that now there are tons of resources tons of written guides tons of places here on youtube one really really good channel is um it's called asmongold and that guy he's got it covered he's going to have guides for everything like all the different classes all the different ways to make money what to avoid what to do everything like that that guy has got it down and so i would recommend subscribing to him immediately and liking all of his videos now number four is also super important that you want to look at doing right now which is finding a raiding guild for 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 legion and also doing it now so you can get that grove warden the moose uh get the black hand mount the armored cleft hoof and getting the archimon mount the uh that that fell reaver like parkinson's thing okay and so you can get all three of those and black hand mount and the archimon ones drop from mythic so obviously you have to do a pretty good amount of raiding for those but the grove warden isn't really that hard to get and so if you're already in a raiding guild now uh you know and, and like you can find what you're, like, you're looking for and, and you can get into one now going into legion you're gonna be able to have like that extra step up with having people help you and everything like that so i would recommend try and start looking for a raiding guild now so you don't have to be doing it right before the expansion and the slots are already filled and maybe you can also get some of these rare mounts at the same time now number five is you want to get your professions maxed on uh, you know all the characters that you think you might level professions are going to play a really big part in legion uh, gathering and crafting now I would recommend there are going to be gathering specific uh, I guess like rewards but if you already have the gold usually gathering professions get you money and crafting professions get you stuff and so I would recommend having crafting professions so we're talking uh, leatherworking engineering blacksmithing tailoring that kind of stuff maybe even enchanting rather than like maybe herbalism or mining or skinning okay so that's one thing that I would definitely recommend for you guys to do now um, the next one like these kind of like some people want to do this and some people don't right uh is you want to do all the things in wards of drainer that are going to make it more difficult after wards of drainer is over and so we're talking about like the nemesis quests if you guys don't know what those are you have to kill like 500 of each different type like 500 tauren five, of like each different race like uh since i'm alliance you have to kill 500 tauren 500 blood elf 500 pandarian 500 orcs you know all that stuff and that's going to be really really hard to do after the expansion is over because people aren't going to be in drainor anymore so I would recommend definitely do that, and that also ties into the Ashran achievements. Like, people hate Ashran now, and so as soon as the expansion is over, I would pretty much expect to see nobody in Ashran. So you want to do the Ashran quests and the achievements and all that stuff. Do that now so you don't try and do it whenever it's a graveyard, whenever Legion comes out. Now, another thing that was just added in patch 6.2.3 is these new Mythic Dungeon Trinkets. They're already item level 715, and they're BOA, and they will scale from 100 to 110. I think their maximum scaling is uh, item level 800, and so you definitely want to get those Mythic Dungeon Trinkets now. And so whenever the Legion comes out, Legion comes out, you won't really have too much of those, uh, It's just one slot that you 
don't really have to worry about whenever you're leveling up. And some of the trinkets are actually really, really good. And they're going to be better than you, any trinket that you have now, especially whenever you're leveling probably into like 105 and maybe 108 or stuff like that. And whenever you get to 110, it's just one thing that, as I said, you don't really have to worry about as much. Now, the last thing that's really kind of important is you want to make sure that you upgrade your legendary ring to 795. 795 is the maximum upgrade level. It gives you, I think, 44% damage buff. And it's really, really good. Uh, obviously, like this is kind of a thing that's going to take you one one week after another because you can only upgrade at three item levels per week and you have to kill normal Archimonde. And so that's kind of a lot of work. But uh, obviously, 795, I, I think that that ring is going to be competitive all the way up into 110. Now, that the proc that they're going to that it has, they're probably going to remove the proc, but just the stats from it are going to be very, very strong. I think going all the way up into 110. Now, you're probably going to replace it in normal uh, item level, or normal level 110 dungeons, and especially in heroics. But until then, you're going to have this ring and it's going to help you out a lot. And so all of these things are things that you can do now that you can take advantage of and do, and you won't really have to worry about them as much whenever Wards of Draenor comes out, or sorry, Legion comes out, Wards of Draenor goes away. And I, I do really want to emphasize again, the really important ones are the Nemesis quests and uh, doing the achievements and stuff like that that's very uh, exclusive to Wards of Draenor because you're not really going to have those options to have other people, you know, helping you do it, like doing, getting like the Pound Fist Mount or getting, uh, you know, all the different like little uh, toys and stuff like that that maybe you might have to group with people to do. So I uh, definitely do those. Um, you know, make sure that you're on top of your stuff. Get your alts leveled up. Make sure you have that trinket. Get your ring leveled up. You know, stay. Uh, I guess like I guess like on know what's going on with like the news with Legion. You know, just kind of stay ahead of the ball here. And uh, obviously, whenever beta comes out, I'm gonna have videos for it, and I'm just showing you guys everything along the way. But I wanted to make a video just to show you guys or tell you guys kind of I don't know what I think is important to do uh, before the expansion comes out and what I'm looking at doing myself. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.